When your building requires repair or maintenance work, there's a lot that you need to consider and a strict consultation process to follow. With larger buildings, it is very common for freeholders to be responsible for arranging maintenance and repairs to the structure of the building and communal areas. This can include the roof, windows, doors, gardens, bin stores, foyers, stairwells and plant such as lifts. Leaseholders on the other hand are typically responsible for their personal demise only. However, with smaller blocks of flats and converted houses, it is not uncommon for the lease to oblige the leaseholders to maintain or insure the building. So it's always best to check your own lease to find out who is responsible for the works. If you can't find a copy of your lease, you can obtain one online from HM Land Registry. Leaseholders are typically responsible for paying for major works and there are several ways a freeholder can prepare for such expenditure, such as ensuring that an appropriate building's insurance policy is in place. Then if works are required following an accident or unforeseen incident, you may be able to claim on the building's insurance policy. The lease will dictate whether it is the responsibility of the freeholder or the leaseholder to insure the building. If anything isn't covered by the insurance, the party who arranged the policy will typically be liable for the shortfall in order to meet the required costs of repair. Another method of financial preparation is through sinking funds and reserve funds. These are essentially pots of money that have been collected from leaseholders over a number of years to pay for any maintenance, repairs and upgrades. While a reserve fund is accumulated to cover the long-term cost of maintaining a building, such as periodic internal decoration, a sinking fund is collected specifically to cover the cost of major works, which occur less regularly. Nevertheless, these funds can only be collected if there is a provision for such in the lease, and subject to the freeholder or the building manager complying with any obligations to formally consult the leaseholders. If a reserve or sinking fund is not in place, or if accumulated funds fall short, freeholders will request further contributions from leaseholders in order for the work to be carried out. If leaseholders are unable to provide funds for the works, the freeholder could postpone the works if there are no immediate health and safety or insurance issues. However, leases will usually include measures for a freeholder to take action against leaseholders in order to pursue payment of their contributions. And if a leaseholder fails to pay, they will be in breach of their lease which can result in penalties or even forfeiture of their home. By law, leaseholders must be consulted on major works when the cost for any one leaseholder will exceed £250. If this will be the case, the person responsible for arranging major works will need to follow the Section 20 consultation procedure. Find out more in our next video. For more expert guidance, please subscribe to this channel and if you require assistance with any of the topics discussed, please visit our website to explore our range of services.